Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and we got another new Megara knife, and this is possibly the best one yet. This thing's pretty amazing. This is the Migoron Curex. Let's move the pouch out of the way. Now, the Migoron Curex is an M390 blade that is coated. We have a titanium frame lock with a carbon fiber reverse bolster. There is a couple different options with this. They're about $189, which I think is a fantastic price for this. Now, let's talk about its action. Because Migoron has got their front flipping action down pat. They do the most perfect jimping. Whether we're talking about their budget knives like the Acri. I mean, this is a very, very affordable knife. And it is just such a good front flipper. I mean, it's very hard to not be able to front flip this, you know, with any, with a little tiny bit of effort. Now... Even their other new knife that I just recently got that I'm testing, same thing. I mean, it's just so easy to front flip. Now, this one's not quite as false shutty as those knives, but it's on its way. It will definitely get there. Um, I just opened it up literally minutes before I got on camera. I opened it up and I said, oh man, I got to show these guys right now. I don't want to wait at all. I had another video planned and everything, and I said, I got to show these guys. The front flipper, it has the perfect distance to clear the frame and the jimping is perfect nice and sharp detent is perfect for the front flipper the detent when you unlock it is nice and early right there so you're going to be past the detent now you can reverse or you can use the front flipper in any different way you want it's very easy to use. Now, it is a bigger front flipper, so you do want to make sure your finger's out of the way when you disengage it, but very, very easy to use, in my opinion. Um, now, the reverse flicking hole. The reverse flicking hole, it is placed in a great placement, and we're going to talk about for lefties here in a second, too, as we do have this reverse bolster right there. So, But great, great uh, reverse flicking action. You can get it up high or down low. You can put your finger right on the the lock bar because we have this little piece right there blocking it. But very easy. You can use your nail or your finger because some uh, holes you got to only just use your finger, no nail. With this one, you can use your nail. Um, now with a lefty, a lefty. The way I grab it, now remember, I'm not a lefty, but I always want to put my thumb on top, right on top of the worst spot possible for a frame lock. I always want to put my thumb literally right on top of the detent ball, and in this case, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Very easy to use lefty. Now, it doesn't have a reverse clip, so you're not going to have a lefty carry, but it works great for the action, even in the front flipper. You can definitely use the front flipper the same way. Very easy. Now, the lock bar access. Lock bar access, they didn't give you a cutout right here, but they chamfered both sides, and it's very easy to unlock. I would never complain about that. It is very easy to unlock, and the detent, um, you're past the detent very quickly. So, the action department, fidget beast. This thing is very fidgety, and like I said, it's not quite broken in yet, but you can see it's very, very smooth. It is not going to take long before this thing is just a fall shut action. It does have a coating on it. So you got to, you know, put that into consideration that once that coating breaks in on that detent ball, holy cow, this thing will be ultra smooth. Now, the holes we have, you can see the milling on the inside. I think that looks cool. You can see the little uh, dimpling on the inside. Now, when I flip it over and you look at the inside, you can also see dimpling and look at all that milling. This thing has come on, mega milling on the inside. Let me get a little flashlight. You can see, man, this thing's got so much milling on the inside. It is ultra light for the size. The Ergo's I love that I can get up nice and tight to that blade. I can get up right up close to that edge. Or I can choose to stand back. Very comfortable in the hand with either grip. The clip, 
it it's knocked down and it's nice and soft in the right areas. Now the sharp areas, I don't personally feel in my hand, not saying they're like really sharp or anything, but like the corners and stuff, I'm past that. So I don't really feel that. So, um, very comfortable in the hand. We do have a titanium backspacer and I'd like the Migaron uh, logo. I think it looks cool. Now, if we get a close-up of the edges all the way around this, you'll see the milling lines. I kind of like that. I think it looks cool. Now, the top of it has a bead blast. But the edges has this, uh, you know, that, the, I don't know, the milling lines or whatever. It looks really cool. It's not going to come up on camera really nicely, but... It is all around the edges. Now, the the geometry. The geometry feels very nice. It gets nice and thin behind the edge. So I'm very happy with that. It's, um, you know, feels like it's going to slice really, really good. And in this grip for the utility cuts, which the tip, you know, this type of sheep's foot blade has a nice area for, or the tip goes down really nicely for utility cuts and the handle, the way the handle is shaped, it gets nice, nicely in your palm, really nicely. Now, I understand it looks a lot like a whippersnapper, but you know, like I said, I have a whippersnapper and you know, yes, there's a lot of similarities, but it's very different. This thing is a lot larger. And, um, you know, there are a lot of differences, but yes, there's a lot of similarities as well. Now, when we look at the plunge grind, I wish they would have plunged it back a little farther. I don't know how that's going to work out. We will see it. You know, you kind of gives you an optical illusion. Either one, it goes straight down and hits the edge or two, it kind of chamfers back right here and it stops right there. If it stops right there, that's okay, but it looks like it might possibly go all the way down to the edge. I'm not sure, but I have been talking to Migaron quite a bit, trying to um, help them out with a few little tiny details that they can improve for next year, which they they absolutely said that they are going to start doing. Now, another little thing is this clip. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Like I said, I just opened it up. I have not put it in the pocket or anything. I don't want to jump to any conclusions. So, but you know, it does have these lines um, from the the lock bar cut out right under the clip. I would rather see them on the inside because that has the opportunity to snag your pocket on the way out. And I'm guessing it might possibly do that at least on the way out. Um, you, you look like you'll be fine on the way in, but on the way out of your pocket, but I don't know. I'm not positive yet. We will see now the stop pin, the stop pin is an internal stop pin. It is very solid. I've already checked that before getting on the camera and it is very much centered perfectly. So uh, it's very, very impressive. I, I, you know, I seen the pictures of it and, uh, the a little, you know, clip of it and everything on Instagram, which I'm going to link all the information down in the description, but I knew right away, I got to get my hands on one of these because this thing just, it looks so good. And not only does it look good, but it looks like kind of the style of knife I would appreciate. And oh my, yes, it definitely is. And like I said, I can feel that this thing, every time I flip it, it just gets smoother and smoother. I love that this bolster traps right over the spot where my finger would possibly go now when it's locked up yes you do have this little corner of the carbon fiber right here and this is a blue carbon fiber by the way but you don't have a lot of blue um some people like this stuff some people don't it just you know kind of depends on preference but it is smaller pieces of it so you know it does have a nice uh marbled carbon fiber look to it regardless but this little edge you do have this little edge poke up but I don't think that's going to be an issue and when it's unlocked and closed it offers a place for you to put your fingers like say if you're going to do the reach around you have a good spot to put your fingers if you're going to do the front flipper like this you have you know it's not going to hurt you to put your fingers right there on the lock bar so very very cool man and also in the hand when I'm holding it like this this little spot right there, if you watch it when I squeeze it, it nestles in my hand exactly how the shape of my hand goes. I like that. Um, 
yeah, man, this thing's going to be very, very cool. I can't wait to test it out. The edge, eh, they could work on their edges a little bit, but, you know, I, I'm not I'm not personally worried about that. Maybe a little bit of stropping can, uh, can tune that up pretty quickly. But this is, um, he was trying to get to this, he was trying to get this to me rather quickly. So, but yeah, if you, if you hold down here, you're, you're going to get locked out. But if you just put it right where you naturally put your fingers for a lefty, very easy to deploy. They're M390. Now, um, I'll be testing it along with the S90V because we do have, this one in for testing as well so we will see how the the s90v does and the m390 over the next you know week or so i'm going to be testing these things uh you know quite a bit sharpening and just everything seeing how their edge retention is and all the good stuff so there you guys go links are below i love you guys peace